28th of june at 2023 remember guys to like share comment and follow so guys a triple c leader no social is old to ensure that state institutions operate professionally without being corrupted by the executive if he is elected uh, the country's next president on august at 23 chamisa narrowly lost to president emerson nangagwa in 2018 after he garnered 44.3 percent of the vote while the letter got 50.8 percent of the vote according to the zimbabwe electoral commission ZEC. on wednesday 7 june chamisa said he will ensure that government officials and civil servants are non-partisan and act professionally in disregarding their duties he said the worst crime any sitting head of state can ever commit is to corrupt state institutions and factionaries in a new republic under a citizens movement government we will not pollute and contaminate those who preside over the affairs of the state using trinkets, trappings, and other pollutants. Public officials shall never be allowed to be partisan, sloganeer, or parrot political party nonsense in their corridors of government. Zimbabwe's resources and money shall not be abused to buy political survival. It's time for new leaders. Critics say NPF has corrupted state institutions such as the judiciary, security, forces, and traditional leaders, among others, so that they become extensions of the ruling party. The NPF has been accused of abusing the courts to punish opposition politicians. The arrest of Zengeza West MP Job Scala being used as an example of the capture of the judiciary by the ruling party. Scala, who has been in pre trial detention since June 2022 was recently denied bail for the 15th time. He was arrested and charged with inciting violence accused of threatening to avenge the murder of opposition activist Mo Blessing Ali, an allegation that has been dismissed by critics as politically motivated. So guys, that's the latest here. And He will ensure that government officials and civil servants are non-partisan and act professionally in discharging at their duties and so it's gonna be a very move it's gonna be a very challenging move at the same time uh you know him being uh the commander in chief i just hope that everything will go as planned because i mean zimbabwe has been with one political party ishitonga since 1980 uh, when I it won't happen overnight for you but anyway we'll be keeping you guys up to date here with the latest on uh, daily news breaking news everyday news i do agree with him 100 percent should be politics we need time for development we need time that we as zimbabweans don't more about uh, what we need to do what's the way forward i mean through my sure we need to catch up neighboring countries and so thank you for listening thank you for watching remember guys to like share comment and follow bless up